came out here today, I was planning on doing those biscuits I was telling you about and lasagna, but I'm kind of running out of time, so I'm just going to make the lasagna today because it's the one that has ingredients that can go on. Because it's got meat, the biscuits done. Right. <coughs> I'm not making just any old lasagna. I'm making crocodile and bacon lasagna. The contents of here is finely diced crocodile, finely diced bacon, finely diced onion, some butter, I've got bolognese herbs, garlic, salt and pepper. This is all my, well, I should say this is basically my wet mix. Got my cheese separate. I really wish they had like little tubs of this, but I could only find it in bottles. Just, you know, just whatever kind of pasta sauce you want. I just grabbed this one because it's just chili and bacon. And I love chili and bacon. And of course, lasagna sheets. Alright. Now, the reason why I thought this would be so hard would be difficult is some lasagna is something you typically bake. But whenever I bake stuff in a mess kit, anything that touches the sides gets burnt. Lasagnas touch the sides inside of their container. I don't think I've ever had one that didn't. So that raised the question, how do I make it and bake it? without burning it. And that came to me. Why do I have to bake it the whole way through? So I got the idea. I'm going to cook everything separately. I'm going to boil some water for the pasta sheets. I'm going to cook up this with the pasta sauce. And I'm going to put it together in layers when everything's already cooked. So <laughs> that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. I was going to just use a V fire, V log fire, but the spot where I built my fire is not exactly level. So there's some wobble in it. So all I'm going to do is just sit back a bit. Put my foot on there. You know what? I'm just going to put this on there. No, that'll work. <laughs> ah, no, I don't have to sit right next to it and get a baseball smoke. <sighs> now, no, this has just got some water and the pasta sheets in it. I had to break them up to get them in there, but no, no big deal. Right, there's a little bit of pasta got stuck on the bottom. It ain't the end of the world. Wait, mix. And I forgot something very important today. I packed it, but it must have fallen out at some point. I forgot to... I do not have a spoon with me. And I don't want to carve one. I've got the tools but to carve one, but I just don't want to. I just have to stir it with my mora. <sighs> <laughs> it sounds like it's not a burn. Just hold it off and let the bacon sweat a bit. Try and get some of those juices out of it. No. 
melt the butter a little bit to lubricate the pan. can't really just put this down on it because it's very thin material if I had if I had a heavy cast iron pan I could maybe get away with it but no nah, not with these mess kits just as it is. Yeah, that's sizzling. <laughs> that meat is sweating quite nicely. Oh, looks good to me. Look at that bacon. Crocodile and onion. Getting quite a bit of moisture out of it, but yeah. I think it's about time to add the sauce. Put this on the flat ground. And add some sauce. Mmm. What the hell? Cause it's so you in the plant. And now because there's so much fluid in there, I feel okay having it closer to the fire. Gotta make sure I keep stirring it. But can't really stir all the way to the bottom too easily with a mora. Don't want mess up the edge, although I can easily push sharp edge on it again. Yep. Yeah. Normally, when you make a lasagna, you do it in layers. But, I've had this, I've had the uh, chicken lasagna a few times where it wasn't in layers, they just mashed up all the pasta and they mixed it through. And to be honest, I reckon it was pretty alright. Instead of just having barriers of flavour, all the flavours just mixed all the way through. So that's what I'm going to do today. So... Before this reduces too much, I am going to put that to the side and stoke this back up, add my pasta to it, and keep going. Mm, doesn't that look good? We'll just let some of that fluid bubble away, and then I'll add my cheese. Actually, I thought I'll just add the cheese now. Mmm. Good old mozzarella.
Nah. Ripping stuff out of this. It's so much easier with a spoon. Mm. I think I might just buy a designated bush spoon. Oh, just get one of those. Just get one of those. Oh, they're almost a novelty outdoor spoons. I'll get like a mess kit spoon or something. Just to keep in here. Just to make sure I always have one. But I did pack one, I just. I don't know. Things happen. Doesn't look like the lasagna you would normally eat, although, to be I've had a number of chicken lasagnas that are all broken up like that. If you haven't had one, it's worth a try. It's not bad. It's got all the same ingredients, all the same flavors. This looks different. First, don't really think it needs to be cooked again. It's done. I'll just skip the whole heating up once more. That's done. But the sad thing is, because I don't have a spoon, I can't eat it now. You have to wait until I get home. Not too happy about that, because it smells pretty good. And it, well, it looks even better. But, oh well. I'll douse the hell out of this fire, even though it, to be honest, like no, there is no chance of it escaping on account of, well, it's on its own little island of just solid rock. But, no oh well. Alright. Just got home. Worked on the new bowl and microwaved it just to reheat it. Very good. Can't really taste much of the crocodile though. Oh, well. tastes good. Probably would have been better with beef though. <laughs> oh well.